Now that we just awakened from this <laughs> long week nap, we're gonna week show long. you how we from the video from last week. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna show you how we close up our tent. Yes, it's extremely easy to close up, just like it was to take put up. We are not gonna time this one. We're just gonna show you step by step how easy it is to close and all of them are easy to close. Right. So let's get go. started. Let's go. The first thing we gotta do. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm not moving. I'm gonna stay up here. We gotta move the mattress first. Move the mattress first. It goes on top of the other mattress. Then we get back on here. That's the only way I can reach this pole. To take this pole. To take this pole down. There we go. That just lays on there like that. Normally we'll have the we'll close the, the windows first, but for video purpose, we're gonna leave it open for the lighting to come in. So now Rich is gonna reach that one. I can't. <laughs> okay, the next pole we have to move is the second roof pole, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to move compared to what she does. <laughs> if you're showing it, I hope slide it over and take it down. So that means. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we do with these poles? Put them back in the storage. Mm -hmm. Normally how we do it, once we get everything packed, we put our blankets there and we take these poles and put them right on top of the blanket. So when we lift it, they're easy, accessible. Right. So the next thing we do is, we do exactly what we've done, we put the camper up, yeah. we collapse this center pole Remember right here. the button we was talking about? That's what we're gonna do now. Press the button and collapse the center. It's not going to be a click. It's just going to go down on my head. <laughs> I'm tall enough. Okay. Then we're going we're gonna, to uh, turn around and get the first pole that you've seen us pulled out right. in the last video and push that in. We're Why gonna are you doing that? Collapse I'm going to go ahead on and close the window. Okay. We're going to close the window first. We're going to collapse it, and then we're going to move the camera outside to show you what we do on the outside. We have the window closed. We turn the camera around and show you what we do after that. Push it in. Okay, grab the camera. And then we just push it all the way in. Ta -da! And it starts to collapse down. Okay, now I'm gonna switch the camera so we go on the outside. Go ahead. Okay, now that we have this collapsed down, only thing we have to do now is fold it. But first, we gotta get that last springboard down. Right. Because it put tensions on the tent. That way you really do not need that third pole. So we're gonna bring the camera over there so you can see the last one that we have to move the tent around in order to get it down. This is the, the last bar that we raised when we put it up. Now it's gonna be the last one to go down. All we're doing is pushing it because it has a spring on it. Move the tent back some and push it down so you hear it click. You heard it slam? It's not a click, it's a slam. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is you lift your bed. Now, once we have the bed lift, we have to protect this wood. How do we do that? The cover that you've seen us take off in the first video, we just put that on there. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay, from here, we're gonna show you what we do for is folding a tin in and what Aspen recommend. But prior to that, it's just a matter of just putting everything up and then we get to the last part, we're gonna talk about that. Right. What we're doing now is bringing the, the centerpiece up. 
So we can lay that down on top there first and make sure all the tent, the canvas is not in underneath there and getting smashed. And the next one that you see kicked working on right now was the first front of the tent that we bring on top of the center pole. But let me show you what she's doing right now in the inside. Here are some parts that you have to cover up. Keep it from pinching the canvas. We put towels on there to, to keep it from. And Rich is doing the same thing on that side. And we lift it here and, make and sure we this smooth is it out. We lift this up and make sure that it is all nice and smooth from under there, that it's not being pinched between the bars that holds the tent up. If you notice, we actually have the front door unzipper. And now, once we finish that, we're going to zip the front door. Everything we're doing is total opposite of how we set it up. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is bring the tent floor up. And we're going to show you how we do that. Once we bring up the tent floor, then this is where we differ from what Aspen showing us. Right. The camera talking about how we, even, how we got to do it even right here. What? And as you can see, we have it even with the back of the tent right here. No. Here's what we're talking about what Aspen recommends that we actually lift the tent floor. All this stuff hanging out, they want us to stuff it in there. If you don't get it just right, then you have a bulge. So what we do is pull the final part of the floor up. Instead of stuffing it in, we fold it over. That's the final part of the floor that we just folded over. Next, we're going to take our canvas, the tent. And put it on top. And while we're putting all this on top, like Cake's showing you, it won't change the functionality of the tent. Nothing will get ripped, nothing will get torn. So that's what we do different from Aspen. And then we put a strap on here, which we don't have out now. <laughs> or we put our outdoor carpet on top of here to keep it full down. And then we just put the cover on. Right. And the last thing we're gonna do is put the cover on it. Okay, just like when we when we took it off, we had the six bungee cords, we had to move to snap it down, we put it back on. And there you have it. You see how simple it was and easy it was the way we close our Aspen Classic. And that's how we do it. Stay tuned to next week when we tell you why we chose the Aspen over the other campers that's out there. Yes, because the other camper that we had our heart set on came with some deal breakers for us. 
However, the deal breaker for us may not be the deal breaker for you. So, the only thing you have left to do is make a decision and hook it up to your bike and go camping. Camping. But if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Cake. And I'm Rich. <laughs> we out. Peace. Peace. <laughs> I get to get